Today, I'm not so much getting coached up as getting taught by one of my favorite places, Behind the Plate. I'm gonna to talk to the general manager of Athletic Training Table, Bob Sorocek. And, and Bob, this is my favorite place. Thank you so much. Great to see you, Mark. Case Dining Hall. I'm sure you brought your hunger with you today. <laughs> <laughs> I did. Bob, okay, we understand how to get ready on the field and we've learned all that. But come on, we got to get these athletes ready to play. How important is it to get them ready in the, in the dining hall? Well, Mark, what happens is myself and um, our chef, we go ahead and we work with uh, the athletic nutritionists. And what we go ahead and we, we provide a balanced meal uh, for those that need to gain weight, those that need to maintain, and those that need to lose. But um, what we like to do is show you some of the things we're doing today. Uh, tonight's our uh, holiday meal for Thanksgiving. So um, do you want to come back in the, in the kitchen? And Let's we could, do it. We could talk it up a little bit. Bob, this looks like a full-fledged restaurant back here. Well, Mark, what we do is we have um, our chefs to do a great job of providing uh, quality food. And it's not just the food, it's the presentation. If the food looks good, chances are it's going to be appetizing. But how do we know we're getting the, the right foods in these guys? Well, what happens is the nutritionists go ahead. We have our uh, line card system that we put up there. And then they'll put just little keys, not over overdoing it just little marks of a yellow green and uh, red so uh, the green of course is go ahead and eat that helps you rehydrate helps fuel that machine for on the field and then uh, of course red you don't want to eat as much a little bit higher fat content and yellow is right on the in-between right now we're doing a uh, lamb lollipops for heavy hors d'oeuvres um, so when you go out there you'll see uh, we have um, one of our great team members walking around feeding the student athletes those. And I'm gonna I'm gonna help him out right here. Instead instead of putting it on the plate, he can just put it in the hand right there. There you go. Now what is this? I mean, that that's uh, beef bourgeon um, on flatbread. Looks good. Go for it, Mark. <laughs> Bob. <laughs> Would you like to start with some heavy hors d'oeuvres? I'm all for those. I have one of these back there, but I'll continue with them. Uh, what, what do I have over here? You also have some fig and goat cheese flatbread. That's on yellow, so you could eat some of those, Mark. Let's not go too crazy. And then here we have with our uh, green, we have our smoked salmon uh, cucumber cups. Because it's green, I can have as many of these as I want? Sure, Mark. Usually if I think something's green and it's healthy, then I usually don't want it. It can't taste good, right? It has to taste good, Mark. You're right, it does. Yeah, I'll get one more of those. Just so want to go right this way. Could help yourself. We got a little green bean casserole, but um, that's that's red mark. So you want to go a little bit cautious. I, I want to go cautious on that. Are the it, is that onion on top of there? Yes, a little bit of onion, fried onion. I'm all right for roasted those. root vegetables. Okay, sure. Some Brussels sprouts. Brussels. See, my mom never could get me to eat Brussels sprouts. Are you gonna get me to eat Brussels sprouts? Give them a whirl. How how are these different than just regular Brussels sprouts? Well, they're shredded up. Let's put some uh, extra love in there today for the holiday meal. I know you're going to enjoy them. See some uh, cran raisins in there, add a little flavor. Some mashed potatoes. And then we'll come right down to a Thanksgiving favorite. Thank uh, you. Honey baked uh, turkey. And then we also have some uh, great homemade cranberry sauce for you. Oh, baby. What, what is this? Am I, am I in Italy here? What do I got here? Well, we want to go ahead and we want to change things up because we have a variety of tastes um, from our student athletes. So you have some wild mushroom uh, ravioli um, with a parsnip puree um, and some, por some porcini cream. Always love the carving station. How often do you guys have these? Um, typically one, once to twice a week, depending what falls in the cycle. We do a four week menu cycle to offer a variety. Coca-Cola glazed ham. Yes, sir. No soda. no soda at training table. Are you kidding me? <laughs> you turn off, you literally turned off the soda you machine? You have to stay hydrated, Mark. <laughs> so you turn off the soda yes. machine? Yes. So we have, we have water, milk, and juice. All right. Enjoy yourself, Mark. Won't be a problem, Bob. Yeah, that's how you get coached up.